Monday morning. Good morning to the SMF MMT trainees and good morning to the SMF network around the world. Here in the U.S. and internationally, we will update you today. It's one of the weakest, weakest future gap open on the NASDAQ here. Um, you can see here that there isn't nothing. And the reason why is that these markets, as I said over the weekend, I went through all the sectors and indices. We are starting week number four of a correction. The Dow futures are down significantly this morning in pre-market. NASDAQ futures were down 24. They're down 22.50. The S&P futures are down 12. The Dow futures, the Dow futures, the overbought cycles that we talked about and the short side of this market that we called going, this is going to be the first five, the last of that five-day period is going to equal 20 actual trading days. So, what we have here is very little. Now, let's take a look at the gap open down. You want to see gap open down? Here it is. And this is bare reversal gap open down. 678 on that bloated price line. Google gap and down. Apple 376. Amazon over bloated. Sina another $2.97. We'll be watching that 50-day simple moving average for a sell through. Tech data, this list keeps going and going and going and going and going and going all the way down here. Now, this is how we measure pre-market gap down versus gap up. Tremendous selling in the futures. Some of the things that are going on with that as well would be that European markets are, are down. Asian markets closed down 1.5% on the Nikkei Hang Seng, down 2.1%. Shanghai, down 2.9%. Sinsex, down 1.8%. Hong Kong, Hang Seng finished down 2.1%. Financials, energy shares saw the biggest declines over there. The China energy shed about 4.0% on concerns of a slowdown in China, everything that we already said. The Shanghai Composite settled down 2.9% and close at its worst level in three months. That means that those bare emerging market ETFs are coming into play, something that, you know, we should be looking at. Now, in other prior corrections, we've always noticed that the Chinese have a lot to do with things, and actually they lead the markets first. As we look around the world, we got the FTSE, the CAC, and the DAC down extreme, okay? And basically, we've had some hurricanes. So the European concerns are economic data that's weighing on global markets. Um, at one point, like I said, the Dow futures, uh, 130 points, they're starting to bounce a little bit. The FTSE down 1.6%, the DAC down 1.7%, the CAC down 1.8%. Italy's benchmark index dropped 3% after the S&P lowered its creative rating outlook to negative from stable. What does that mean? The Fitch downgrade of Greece on Friday. Greece technically remains an unknown. Most expect some sort of debt restructuring. And once again... Sovereign debt yields on Greek, Irish, and Portuguese debt are at a new record low for the euro versus the Swiss franc. So, so there's some currencies in there. So we know what's driving it. What we will be doing in the trade management on the gap down list is the stocks that hit the bottom, hit that 369 up, you would take the trade. But let me tell you something. We're going to see how the stock market orders start to get taken down, meaning that People that own equities up toward the high of these indexes and individual equities, uh, when they gap them down, we start to see where the forced selling comes into play. We'll be monitoring that. NASDAQ gap open up. NASDAQ pre-market futures. Trade management follows. Uh, retail is a short. We covered it. We've covered these reversals before they were going to come. This is what the continuation. And remember, indexes go down. 
They bounce counter trend, come down, have their counter trends in options expiration last week, and today they make a lower low. And people don't understand how stocks make lower lows after they bounce, nor do they understand it in indexes. They see it go up one day, and all of a sudden the world is great. No, sorry. The reversal is not done. We are just now starting that. 